sir, it really could get a whole lot worse. Which is why you need to be commended for being smart enough to stick around and witness the birth of what everyone will be talking about when the spring returns. Polkadot has never been so bullish. Co-founder Robert Habermeyer is smashing limited consensus plaguing other chains with the new idea of block space primitives. Our team has crafted three Polkadot branded clips from his stellar space yesterday. So if you condense this down to a higher level primitive of block space, then you can focus on allocating that primitive block space to different pieces of infrastructure, different applications. You need to pay attention and you need to follow Rob if you want to see those clips. Link to his Twitter is down below. Fallon Network is dedicating some of their block space to organizing off-chain workers. Peaks Network charges cars with it. And a star keeps filling theirs with governance and businesses from Japan. Invarch's decentralized GitHub GitArch will make even the most experimental code unstoppable, while UI projects like Talisman continue to roll out the red carpet for people coming in for the growing wave of liquidity liquidity fueled by native popular stable coins, half dollars, entire L1s dedicated to fiat, truly trustless bridges to Bitcoin, and three messaging projects slurping more than just tokens from Ethereum. It's our entire mantra, right? EVM, we have that covered. Even our L2s can do decentralized tricks with more security and speed, and NFTs mean so much more. Driving governance, wild stories, parabolic poop shoots, and clusters of community we'll hear all about from Penin. Oh hell, fire and frost? Skylab's Frostfire cases have opened with equipables of varying rarities. This tech uses different versions of action-based creation in new and innovative ways, and it looks absolutely well. Fire as a first 3D composable video NFTs with conditional rendering. Big Country's Xenoform Raw Land block event sold out in only four minutes. Follow World has been hard at work, and their shell NFT mint is nearing. Have you played DPS's Liar's Dice? DPS explains why they're launching on an Ethereum Layer 2 optimistic rollup, Arbitrum Nova. Everloot mentions crafting weapons soon, along with expeditions and fighting. They are in beta testing for their peer to peer in game marketplace, which will be ready before the end of this month. Public Pressure has a new NFT class called Can You Hear Me by Emma Lavino. Tinker confirms their airdrop to UtilDAO ticket holders and posts official details. Yoshitaka Amano's Candy Girl NFTs are gaining a lot of traction, coming soon to Star, with several whitelist opportunities with partners. Exosama's participation in the recent Halloween-themed carnage results in pumpkins. Is this a new fish? The Star Witches were approved for dApp staking. MetaDojo is offering urban NFT packages for Metaverse owners. There's a 2D runner game with Kushibas in the works. Referendum 231 NFTs have been airdropped, and the final shelf items have been sent out. But it's not all over as they're focused on increasing value and utility to their existing NFTs. Bedside Monsters announces that monsters purchased before November 1st will start hatching. Black Square Art mints and sends their NFTs to their members. The reveal event for the Canary Network Agency Phase 1 collection happened on Moonbeans. The Spacers teaser video dropped, with the mint planned for November 1st. Remark Punks releases a new equipable background, which is also a song in collaboration with new artist Nick Seo. Thanks to Unique's NFT index StateMind NFT sorting is available now on Singular's app. There have been a number of minor UI upgrades as well in Singular. With Remark EVM almost here, Remark does a quick recap on Skybreach. As we navigate the auctions on the sister chains, Polkadot's race is almost a formality as Crust is leading Omni BTC by a pretty good margin. And it looks like a Yuna may just be lying in wait for the next slot. Over on Kusama, Jinshiro reached their 2000 KSM cap and won auction 56. In auction 57's race is more of a peaceful jog as Crush Shadow has no competitors in sight. On to other news as accessibility of Datsama tokens are starting to open up as Kraken announces listings of Kilt, Mover, Kent, and more. Ever staked on Nova's mobile wallet? Well, it just got a lot smoother with recent upgrades to the UX. And you can now stake Calamari while BitCountry's dApp is also mobile. DStore has added in subquery support as they aim to secure treasury funding for decentralized merchandising. Gib hoodie, please. Mint down NFT minting platform wins Axlar's bounty for the connected contract sackathon. Are you a fan of Imbue's decentralized crowdfunding model? You may qualify for the presale if you contributed to the crowd loan, are a part of Imbue Heroes, or if you are a project initiator. Parody is hosting a couple events in Berlin and London to help people get a job in Web3. Tapio announces a successful $4 million funding round led by leaders in the blockchain space. 
Polkadot's developer base continues to grow with more than 500 contributions per day. Pendulum is now chatting with Bifrost, Darwin is chilling with Parallel, and Snow is now live on Kusama with a liquidity bridge from the parent network Icon in tow. Git Arch is moving right along, Ace dashboard from Web3Go and Turing is now mobile, and Astar has written Uniswap v2 Dex in ink. Wasm is on the rise. Oh yeah, it looks like Astar is signing cities now. On to you, Jay. I love you, Polkadot. And hey, big news, our man Gavin Wood stepped down from CEO of Parity today to finally be able to focus all his attention on building as our new chief architect. And in his place, he's leaving Parity co-founder Bjorn, who I actually got to meet recently, briefly, that guy has a lot of good f***ing energy. But until everyone catches on, there's still a lot for us to do. I want to make sure that you attend the Attempts at Governance live stream on Monday. We'll be speaking with Councilor Raul, Joe Petrowski, and some of the folks from Snowbridge about their $3 million funding request from the Polkadot and Kusama treasuries. And hey, if you have an idea for a UI, communication, education community, or experimental project that'll benefit all token holders, our treasuries are sitting ready to fund your work. Make sure you join the conversation on Monday. Monday. Or if you just want to hold and kick back, listen to the track I'm going to play you out with this week, The Artist Sloppy Wallet, the track Lower High. Have a great weekend, everybody.